I trusted you! Fuck you! And fuck you, Marker! Welcome back to Jacoby Rising. I know a lot of people want to see the interview as soon as possible, so I decided to take a little clip out of the interview and upload it as standalone. This is a lot of the stuff that Gunner Wright and I were talking about Dead Space 4. I know that's a really big thing people want to hear from Gunner Wright is what he thinks about Dead Space 4. So here's a little sneak peek at what we talked about. And just so you guys know, quick disclaimer, everything we say is speculation. Nothing has been confirmed. So just because Gunner Wright talks about a potential Dead Space 4 does not mean it's confirmed or it's actual fact. This is just us speculating 100%. So take everything with a grain of salt without further ado enjoy and the interview will be up sometime this week and if you're watching this in the future there will be an annotation on the screen when the interview is fully up so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoy what we talked about visceral is currently working on their new star wars game so dead space 4 is currently up in the air if that were to ever come to light would you be down to reprise your role as isaac clark again absolutely awesome yeah i mean i feel like the way dead space 3 ended they definitely kept that um open it, yeah they kept it open for a four and uh but you know that's that's up to them i haven't talked to anybody from from that aspect on on yeah. anything uh moving forward with a with a four yeah and uh and, and you gotta understand too you know those games especially right in that moment it's been a little bit but uh, at that moment they were so so expensive that even if four was greenlit you're gonna spend possibly even more budget uh, on a larger scale to do something and it's not like it's diminished returns, but it's business for those guys. So Definitely. maybe just having that opportunity to kind of sit on it. Obviously, the Star Wars franchise, I mean, that's just you're just printing money <laughs> from, a, from a business standpoint. And, and it's just such a great thing for them to maybe get their minds off of the Dead Space franchise, focus on something like the Star Wars franchise. But then mm -hmm. there'll probably be little things, if you think about it from a creative standpoint, you're working on Star Wars and you're kind of outside the box thinking about some things that might actually translate back to the dead space universe down the road so mm -hmm. it all feeds itself so i'd love to yeah dead space if any form of dead space is reignited i'd love to play isaac here's a big question that a lot of fans have been curious about like i said dead space 4 is not nothing's been greenlit nothing's been confirmed so this is pure speculation in your opinion what would come after the dead space 3 ending what would be your ideal outcome for Isaac, maybe Ellie Carver, maybe the rest of Earth? Well, we, I guess we all know that uh, Earth is the, in some ways, kind of the, the final battleground. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's a tough one because on one hand, a lot of fans have said, okay, the chapter is done. You know, the, the, that aspect of, of that storyline is done. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, with a great writer, and that's the thing we've seen in so many big franchises from like the fast and furious to you just name it it's like as soon as you have a really great writing team that takes something puts it on the page and you go god I never thought about that all of a sudden it opens up the creative to explore a whole new avenue so i've got i mean i've got my kind of personal kind of wish list of what would happen if there was a dead space for yeah but i'm not a great writer and kind of see certain things mm -hmm. but i need i need someone to like put it on the page for me and then i can kind of play around with the, the visuals mm -hmm. so to be honest with you i'm sure that um someone better than me would be able to create a whole new trajectory because if you're gonna do let's just say if you're gonna do four well you might as well set it up to do five six and seven so it's like Pretty whatever much. you write and that's the problem with people forget about it can't anymore with that those types of budgets from the star wars to the marvels as you've seen with marvel yeah i just watched doctor strange this weekend just incredible and i had no yeah. idea I, I knew nothing about that particular character but what's interesting is that you know they don't write for just the next video game or the next movie especially those big franchises they're writing for like five films down the road or mm -hmm. you know three franchise video games down the the road for, to to keep the story fluid mm -hmm. or else you're just having these speed bumps along the way and you're like well that doesn't really how does that storyline work mm -hmm. So. That was Gunnar Wright's actual full response to that question. Basically, if we have a good writer, we can really flesh out his ideas. Stay tuned for the full interview here on JKP Rising. We talk a lot more about Dead Space, about his involvement with Dead Space 2, even Dead Space 1 and 3. It's a lot of cool stuff. We even get a bit more into work-related stuff and personal life. So stay tuned for that. For all your Dead Space definitive content, subscribe to JKP Rising. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Have a great day. Stay positive. See you all soon.